Hello guys, it's me Salavoxval and today we're gonna go through the new HDR function in Lightroom and after you have watched this video you will be able to do like stunning real estate interior photography and you're gonna be able to edit those pictures so fast and without using all this other hassle with photoshop and other programs and do other hdr managing i have been testing this method for five months now and it have made a huge difference for me and my company and how we process all these pictures we have been able to be more profitable and we have been able to work way faster and we don't have to outsource editing anymore because it goes so fast for us so before we jump into this video and you are new to the topic of HDR I recommend you to watch one of my other videos when I go through HDR and how to make HDR picture in Lightroom and how you group them together you will find those video in the description so you can go in and watch those before you watch this one so you have more understanding what I'm talking about when we go into the details so let's jump into Lightroom and when we come into Lightroom as you can see I have prepare five pictures down here they're all ready to go I have merged them and they are HR now uh, so we can just go into the detail how to uh, to work around this new HR function so what we do we just stop with one picture and we go to develop as you can see in this picture I was working in a, it was a really nice place uh, maybe not nothing super special but it's a nice place and uh, we had quite hard sun this was in the uh, autumn uh, before the winter here in Sweden and when we are in that time of season the sun is very harsh and uh, is very low as well so you get like these hard highlights on the walls and everything and I don't know I don't care really about that I like it uh, the photos should be natural but as soon as we jump into Lightroom what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a bottom out above here of the temperature we have a bottom called HDR and when I click this the picture might look really harsh as you see as mine is look it doesn't look nice at all but don't worry it's supposed to look like that if you don't have a HDR monitor is this is what you're gonna look like but don't worry what we're gonna do now is when we are put in that v window, we, we can just scroll down here and we have something that called SDR rendition settings. And we have a window there called preview for SDR displays. And, and this is an SDR display, so I'm just gonna pop it in and boom, there we go. Now we look more normal and now we have something we can work with and we understand what we're doing. That's why we're gonna put that in. If you have an HDR monitor, like good for you. You don't have to put it in. You're gonna see exactly what you're working with. But as soon as we click that in, we have something here, down here on the right that we can start to work with. And uh, here we're just gonna start to put on these knobs and I'm gonna show you how I do it and how I like to have my pictures done. But the first thing I'm just gonna do is you have brightness here. I want to push that up because as you see, when I put in the HDR, the, the image got very dark to just compensate for outside and you're just trying to find the middle where it is a natural middle for a camera, but we're gonna push that obviously because we do real estate photography. So let's just push this up. And when you work with these knobs, you can be quite like, you can push it quite hard uh, without destroying the pictures. But we just push up the brightness and we get something like this. And what I like to do after that is this knob in the bottom that is highlight saturation. And what I want to do with that is just bring it down. I don't like this screamy blue outside. I don't like when this casting come inside. So if I put it up, you can see we don't get that much through the windows, but we have some yellowish out here and some greenish. And yeah, obviously the windows and everything. I don't like that. So what I do is I push it down till I get a more natural blue and something more like this color we have, have up here in this corner. I want that above the whole thing. So what I do is just, yeah, something like that. So straight to the bottom with that, but it's okay. We don't gonna over push this image. What I do after that is just gently put out the clarity, just a little bit like that. And maybe some contrast to get this little contrast like that. And here you can do how you want it. Like you can bring the shadows down if you want that. You can bring the shadow up if the clients like that. I know my clients like me to 
push it up. So what I do is just trying to push it up a bit, something like here maybe. So we don't crush these really black spots, but we just lift the whole image and give it a more brighter uh, feeling, I guess, if you want to put it like that. And when we push up the shadows, we want to just correct the contrast a little bit. So we get some more, not like, not too much, but we don't want this as well. It, it becomes very flat. So we just push it up a little bit like that. And we can just feel on the highlights what happened. We bring it down. Yeah, what you can see when you touch this highlights knob in the HDR function, you just push the whole image. You, you, you like quite crunch it. So you don't want to push it down too much here. So you can actually push it up to get like this feeling of how I felt felt when I was there, like this light just bouncing around this whole room and gives this like airy feeling. So I'm just gonna push it up a bit like that, maybe. So now we have something to work with. And in my opinion, we already have like a great, great result. And to be fair, this might be all ready to send to a client, but we're gonna keep pushing it, tweaking it a little bit more. Uh, so I think it's a little bit too dark for my clients. So I'm just gonna try to bring it up some stumps, something like there maybe. We have a little bit more of this light and gonna see what's happened with the highlights. I think we can bring it down. If you want the whole see-through, you can just pull it down like that and we get the see-through. I don't like that, my opinion. You should be a little bit washed out the windows. So you don't have too much, but it depends. If you have like this great view, you want to maybe just pull it down so you can get like this whole scene of the view that this uh, the location is needed to showcase. But in this case, it's nothing special outside the window. So I'm just going to push it out a little bit. Just keep it like that somewhere. Maybe have some of the blue back. I don't know. Maybe. Something like that. It's, it's good enough for me. It's all fine. And after we are done there, we can just feel on the black. Sometimes you're gonna bring down the blacks to get like this little bit of contrast in the shadows. And I like to do that a little bit like that. Boom. So we get some kind of like in the picture. And what we can do next is just to feel on the white balance. I think it's a little bit greenish, but if I pull that up too much. We have something like that. Obviously, I'll do the correction like that. Boom. To get it a little bit straighter. But here you have a picture. It's all good. All fine. Ready to go to client. And that's how fast you can work with this tool. Without this tool, this will be like a lot harder to get these results here. This is not perfect. Uh, I wouldn't send this to a client myself. I would start to work around the windows. You have this all reflections and you have some uh, spots on the on the TV here. And uh, I will fix those stuff. Uh, but right now we have these pictures and I, I'm just gonna look here. Uh, see, so I do everything, boom. Yes, I copy all those settings. I go to the next pictures. And here's this picture. And what I do is just paste that setting on it and we got something like this and yeah I know it looks crazy but that's just the white balance because this is an evening shot so we shot this at e at the evening so what I'm gonna do here is just poof correct it and what I can do is just find the white balance like that this is how it was shot at so what we can see here in these pictures, okay, I have some HDR disturbance here. I don't know why, uh, sometimes I think it's my computer. So don't care about that. Uh, if it was to a client now, I was, I will do a new HDR uh, file of it. I don't know why I get this disturbance, but sometimes I get, but, but yeah, but don't look at that. I'm just gonna keep focusing on the picture that we have here. And what I wanna do here is we have this awesome sky outside you can see if we can put it in you see here we have like a really nice sky on the outside and now it's quite dark inside so we're gonna try to get this a little bit more blend in with this function and what we do here i'm gonna pull up the highlight saturation again 
this was the place, the, the lamps you see here, they are in a good temperature and with the, uh, uh, with the stove here going with the fire. So it's a good temperature overall in the pictures. So we are gonna bring up the highlight saturation again. And what we're gonna do now is to work with this picture is, I think it's too dark inside. So I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, something like that, I think. And then we're gonna bring down the shadows because it's an evening shot and it's I'm all fine with something like that. But now we have the shares a little bit too dark in my opinion, and I want some more punch in the window. So what I usually do, I do this masking like this. We can start with the shares like that. Nothing crazy. Pull up the shadows when you're with some kind of result where you keep the color in. So maybe something like that. And I'm gonna do just another one. And we put it in the window, something like that. And what we can do now is we can bring down the exposure if we want to, but I don't wanna do that too much. I wanna even push the exposure a little bit and bring down the highlights a little bit. So we get the sky back in that. If you want, you can pull up temperature just a little bit not too much just a little bit like that somewhere and if you want you can bring up like the saturation not crazy but just just a little bit like that so you just punch in the sky as well and the pictures and what we do that after that we do subtract from the mask and you can use choose a brush and you want it in a good size and this yeah this is a good size and you can start to put it away from all this ribs or what you call it in English, I don't know, but where we put all the color into the picture, we just taking away in the inside, a little bit like that and a little bit like here and a little bit here and maybe a little bit here, something like that. And then we can do it a little bigger, see where we are. We are somewhere here. So just bring it away from here. So yeah, that's a decent shot, nothing special about it. I could have worked this way more if I want. Just push the exposure up a little bit again. So we go back here to get like this really light feeling. Uh, we can have it something like here maybe. Yeah, I'm happy with the result. This is good enough for real estate. They don't time to care that much of the details. So I'm all happy with this. As you see, we have these spots here and I have spots here. <laughs> I should have cleaned the camera before I did that shoot, but I don't know, lazy. So if you wanna take away spots, you can use here. You can either take the uh, this uh, content aware remove or you can do the clone. I usually use the clone and what I do is Make it small enough and poof, take it there. And we take this one, poof, take it there. And yeah, they're gone. Nothing special about that. But yeah, let's move on. Let's take another picture. We have this picture as well. I'm just gonna paste my settings onto it. And we get something like, sorry about my computer, it's be a little bit slow. But yeah, here, here what we have. I'm just gonna change back the white balance and we end up with something like this. Yeah, this is already a good result. It's not much to do. I'm just gonna correct the lines a little bit like that. Didn't do much. <laughs> when I correct lines, you can you see here, you can work with the uh, highlight saturation as well. We can just push the wi window a little bit like that. And another cool feature that's quite new to it, you can have this color pick. So if you have this orange light, maybe you don't want it that much. You can just pick it like that. And you can choose the range, how much you're gonna use of it. So if I take the max range and pull down, you get a very washed out feeling right here. But if I take the range and start to pull it down a little bit, you gently put back this orange and you don't want it there, there's too much in my opinion. So a little bit like that and the range and you just get it a little bit more subtle so it doesn't crack the whole image in my opinion. So yeah, here's another result, good. And here we have the exterior shot. So what we're gonna do here is 
yeah, it's nothing special. We can do it again. And I'm gonna show you how fast I can just edit this picture and get like a quite good result. So what I'll do, HDR, poof, the settings, pull up the brightness. And here, when we do it outside, I tend to not pull down the highlights too much, but something like that maybe. Put in a little bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity. Ah, oh, too much clarity, a little bit. Of... And we take the exposure and we put it up something like there maybe. And I don't want this to be so light that it is. I'm just gonna bring down the shadow a little bit. And um, what, in my opinion, this picture is a little bit too cold. So we're just gonna bring up some of that warmth that I felt when I was there. So I wanted a little bit more like this, I think, in my opinion, this looks a little bit better. We're gonna see what's happening. Yeah. Here we get, yeah, this starting to look good. It's starting to look really good in my opinion. So what we can do as well, we can work with the shadows if you want a little bit with the color wheels. So what you can do, you can pull it up, you can pull it down, you can pull it, but I just want to get a little bit of warmth in the shadows. Just pull it a little bit like that to get more of a art, artsy look, I guess, not the, the typical um, real estate look. But when we put up the orange in the shadows, we get a little bit too warm overall. So what we do, we just bring back that little bit like that. And then we have a quite good picture. And you can choose, you want the sky, you want the orange and everything with, you can just pull up the highlight saturation. If you don't, yeah, you just pull it down. I, I like it down, it's a preference. Of course, it's a preference. But here you have a, like, like a good picture. It's a little bit too warm still. I'm just gonna, a little bit like that. Maybe pull that, no, not too much. Yeah, but something like that. Good picture, I like it. The client's gonna like it, nothing special. What I see here is we have a lot of magenta, magenta you say that in English, I think. Uh, we have a lot of magenta, and if you want, you can start to pull that out. You can do the color pick, something like that. And start to see what's happening when you pull it. And you can see we got the sky as well, but I, I don't mind. I don't mind. So if we pull a little bit like that, we get a more subtle, subtle feeling of the pictures. Uh, and we have one more picture here at the night time and we can do that as well. Just put on the HDR function. Let's see what's happening. Oh, there we go. Let's take this as a shot. Uh, pull up the a little bit like that. Let's see the white balance. See where we're at. Yeah, we are somewhere here. Let's see now the picture is not so Symmetry, so we're just gonna try to get a little bit more of a symmetry, and I can probably get it something like, yeah, there, oof, there we go. Good looking picture. I think it's way too orange in the inside. Uh, so what we can do to work with that is again this color pick. We can go there, we can pick that color, and now we gently can start to work with it. You can do it lighter if you want. You can pull it up like that, crazy, and you can put it down to get more HDR film, but that's way too much. What I'm gonna do is pull it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna just get more of an orange feeling of it. Not too much, because it was a little bit too yellowish for me. So use a little bit more of the orange, and then I'm gonna just take down the saturation. But not too much, but a little bit more subtle. Uh, Something like that, I think, is good enough for me. Uh, after that, yeah, we have a finished product. Like, these pictures. Here is one. Here is the second one. But I hope you learned something new about the HDR function and I hope it's gonna be helpful for you and gonna help you to step up your game in, uh, in real estate photography and maybe encourage you to start editing your photos yourself because as I say, you don't need no hassle with Photoshop and everything but 
that was everything for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, I would appreciate if you like and subscribe this video. Have a good time.